Well, Prince Harry has seemingly found some veterans to defend his ESPY's honor. Some have uncovered something far more sinister. Is he just accepting these awards to keep his visa? <laughs> Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and this one was fascinating. Whoop, I have the wrong thing behind me. Let's make this official. Here we are, back in the palace. This came in to me via text, via X, from Nessie Nessie. Thank you for the heads up. And then this came in from a tweet from Deborah, the X Factor. And this tweet was pretty fascinating, because in it, uh, I found this image someone put together saying that these awards... Recognized achievement and accolades can strengthen a visa application. Zero One Visa, one of the criteria for demonstrating extraordinary ability, is having received nationally or internationally recognized awards or prizes for excellence in the field, including sports. Awards and notable achievements can help build a case for some visa applicants, arguing that their admission to the U.S. would benefit the country. Awards demonstrate a level of excellence that supports an application, making it more likely to be approved. And sure enough, as I went through the U.S. Immigration Services websites, yes, individuals with extraordinary ability or achievement, which Prince Harry, I assume, is uh, skating by on because he's a prince. Well, this would, in fact, help his eligibility status. It's kind of fascinating. As I went through this, there is an awards criterion. Let's start with the official wording, U.S. Citizens Immigration Services Policy Manual, describing the awards criterion, documentation of the beneficiaries recipient of nationally or internationally recognized prizes or awards for excellence in the field of endeavor. As we get here, uh, this is where things get more. You, you got to go through the different uh, qualifying awards. Hold on. There's several qualifying awards or nominations. Uh, there's like tons of breakdowns of what this means. And uh, it needs to be a qualifying award, which you know, they count as smaller things than the ESPYs. Uh, internationally recognized, they've mentioned Nobel Prizes, etc. Awards for excellence in the fields of endeavor. It indeed is a supporting documentation that can get us there. Simply put, you must have won an award that is nationally or internationally recognized, which the ESPYs would be, and was awarded to you for your excellence in your field, which is charitable efforts of sports games. I, I don't know. Uh, obviously what makes one recognized, you can be creative here, but do people from around the nation or world attend the award ceremony? The ESPYs is yes, very big deal. Do applicants from numerous states or countries apply? Yes. Do recognized national, international outlets cover the award? They're already doing so just by his uh, the, uh, the announcement of him getting this award. Uh, national recognized awards include the Nigeria Technology Awards, the UK Biz Awards, the Forbes 30 Under 30. Do you show uh, that an award for your excellence was for your field of excellence, press releases or other documents that state that you were offered the award based on your excellence or impressive accomplishments, showing that the award granting organization accesses candidates based on strict criteria, showing that the number of applicants and percentage you won the award, a letter from the award grant. Anyway, you're getting the point. You're getting the point of, yes, now I can't prove this is what's happening, but this is accurate in that to apply for a zero one uh, no one visa, you have to have that extraordinary ability. And this is where I went because I even talked to John uh, Witherspoon. He he was he was a little bit sort of still confused on whether, you know, his comment was, you know, he better off actually be doing decent content than collecting awards from cereal boxes. <laughs> He's high profile, but for what? He's like Paris Hilton, famous for being famous. Yes, I agree with him. However. The reality is, for me, there is something to this visa angle. I think, you know, these awards are an attempt to keep him relevant. And let's be clear, not only is he receiving awards, he's receiving more and more press talking about receiving his awards. So this is all how the prince stays a prince. Because otherwise, what is he known for? Really nothing, right? So these awards, if anything, to me are a sneaky... Uh, manipulative way to continue to keep his sta status level. And that's not even just across the board from no one visa, but just across the board of being relevant and a, you know, uh, leader, global leader. But we go through and let's not forget, not, you know, although uh, notable awards that these two have mastered, 
now the ESB Pat Tillman Award for Service. The award for service, like of all the charitable people in the world and all the American heroes, Prince Harry's getting one in his name for Invictus Games. This isn't an award to the Invictus Games. This is an award to Prince Harry, which is shameful to me. Shameful. Give it to the awards, people. Where like I don't have any of my Honest Trailer Awards. I won many of my Honest Trailer Awards. I've won, you know, uh, Webby's, Streamies, a whole bunch of them. They're all in the office of the company that shat on me and threw me to the wolves and completely now monetizes all my hard work and IP creatives. They, I put it there because I never had the audacity to put it on my shelf. And I was named because it was my show. The only one I have is my MTV Movie World, which is named to me as the producer and creator of the of the project. But I had a couple other people on that that I wanted to share it with. Uh, but, you know, I was lucky enough to be able to keep it here at that point because I was independent solo at that point. The, my point of the matter is not to... <laughs> talk about my awards the point of the matter is when you win an award whether it's charitable or not you're supposed to give it to the team it's supposed to be part of the whole process the series the the charity and prince harry is yet again making it all about himself which to me is shameful it is just shameful and so yes the sb award now becomes what we were just talking about a recognized achievement to destroy to demonstrate extraordinary ability Ugh. And then let's add in the Living Legends of Aviation Award that he won. Yep. The Women of Vision. Uh, Megan doesn't need a visa, but still, let's just talk about having this uh, credibility now. She won a Women of Vision Award in 2023 for her global advocacy to empower and advocate on behalf of women. Because we all know Meghan Markle has done so much for women by marrying a prince and... Helping a kitchen once. Uh, let's not forget the R Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Ripple of Hope Award. My goodness. Shameful to this organization. Couple attended uh, for undertaking promoting racial equality, social justice, and mental health. Talk about an award that is just like, yeah, anybody can get it, I guess. Uh, the NAC NAACP Image Awards. <laughs> Prince Harry won this for... Joining the struggle for equity both in the U.S. and around the world since leaving the royal family because, you know, they were treated like like because they were all the racist royals treated them like trash. Uh, but again, again, these are real awards. They clearly got to get some each award. I, and then just in going through this, I can't believe it. She won a People's Choice Award for Pop Podcast for Archetypes the show that ultimately bombed. I, I assume this was bought. Someone in an agency somewhere like gave it to her because at that point she was still slightly more relevant than she is now. This she also won a Gracie Award for Top Entertainment Podcast. Uh, but there it is. There are there are all the awards that they've won since leaving the Royals. They are now hugely high profile award winners, and this does absolutely increase their you know worth, especially when out there are people. Oh, he doesn't. Do he does deserve it because what this is a former Marine who won the award who I'm not going to crap on says, yeah, the Duke of Sussex is a natural fit for the Tillman honor because of Harry's military service and his dedication to veterans. Now I just assume that Jake here hasn't really done the homework and doesn't really want to get into it because he's probably a, actually a charitable person. So I'm not going to hear and, and, and trash him and go to all the actual truth of it all. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's where we stand. But you know, Pat Tillman's mom who we've now learned was told about all the previous award winners, but not Prince Harry, uh, isn't okay with it, but apparently who cares what Pat Tillman's mom thinks, as if she hasn't been through enough tragedy already, given that her son, was, who was a hero, American hero, was taken by friendly fire and the, the armed forces just completely have hidden the truth to what happened all these years later. It's shameful. But now, in honor of him, let's give Pat, Prince Harry an award for all his charity. Oh, it is sickening. It is truly sickening. And there's more to the story and a lot more coming. So I hope you will hit that subscribe. We're getting so close to 100K. We got so many more videos coming for you. Hit the bell to join our notification squad. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, hit a comment down below. I don't understand why these aren't getting more attention. This is a shameful travesty what's happening. And we need to be loud about it. I don't like this. There's currently a petition going out there and it's only got 45,000. Let's see if we can get this to 50 by the end of the day. Uh, requesting ESPN to rethink this award. Pat Tillman deserves better. Pat Tillman's mom deserves better. This is not an award. And like Pat McKee, Mc, Mc, McAvee said on ESPN, make up some award then. The the, the non-Prince Award for people who pretend to do charity. 
Fine. Make him a makeup award. I, I am not okay with him getting the Pat Tillman award. This is not a right good fit. This is not right. I don't care what the other people are saying. Uh-uh. Bad call by the ESPYs. If you agree, head on over to the change.org petition. Make sure you've subscribed and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Palace.